Hi, this is Steve from Conductive Labs, and in this video we'll be looking at the MRCC Tools MIDI Monitor window. So if you look up there, you'll see the screen, and we can come over here and enable that screen. And uh, what the MIDI Monitor allows us to do is watch all the MIDI messages coming through the out ports. So the uh, key step 37 is connected to uh, the host control C, so we'll select that, and we will route it to um, the output 10 and turn this down just a little bit. Okay, so now when I hit a key, a note, okay, those were two messages, the note on and then the note off. I'm not going to get into the whole MIDI um, uh, protocol, but I do want to explain what the numbers are on the screen. The first column that you'll see one and two, those are just the order in which they came in and it goes up to uh, 99 and then just wraps around to zero. And so it's just a way to keep track of the order of the messages. Um, the next column is you'll see a 10. That's the port that it's going out. The dash one means that it's coming in uh, or going out on MIDI channel one. So 10 is the port, one is the channel. The next column, the ons and offs, are short for note on and note off. There's some abbreviations for some of the other messages, and if you look in the MRCC manual, you'll see what all those are. And then D means data, and then colon, uh, the first data byte, and then there's the uh, dot and the next data byte. And um, typically in uh, MIDI messages, there's two data bytes. So in this case, it's telling us uh, 60 and 94 for the first one. And that means note uh, value 60 and 94 is a velocity. And um, I guess the default velocity for note off for the key step is 64. So it's note 60 for the note off and 64 for velocity. A lot of people don't know that there is a velocity for note off. And in some cases, the synthesizers actually react to that. Anyway, that's a side note. So I'm gonna hit the C note several times and you can see that there's different um, velocities, like it's uh, one that was a velocity of 10, and then a velocity of 96, and then that was a, oh, I see, AT is aftertouch, so you're seeing some aftertouch messages coming through as well. So there's a 75, there's a 103, so the velocity, so it's just telling you all the data. Um, and, and then, as I mentioned, it's not just note on and off, um, information. So if I push the aftertouch down, you'll see a bunch of aftertouch messages coming. As I, as I press up and down, you can see them going. And there's no uh, second data byte in aftertouch. Um, we can look at the mod. Uh, mod wheel is typically CC1. Let's see what it says. Oh, no mod wheels coming out. Interesting. And pitch bend. P, it's PIT for pitch. Um, I'll turn, oh, maybe that was, no. I'll rotate one of the knobs because the Key step 37 has CC knobs. No. Maybe I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, there we go. There's a CC. This was CC 71. And as you can see, if I turn it all the way up, it's 127. If I turn it all the way down, it is zero. So if I try this one. Okay, so that's CC 74. Try this again. No, I don't know. Well, okay, CC 76, okay and then CC77. So I guess they were working, I don't know why. Okay, so you can get note data, aftertouch data, pitch bend data, CC data. Uh, remember, uh, I, we talked about clock start and stop earlier. If I hit this, you'll see it says real time, uh, and that's telling us that there's real time messages. Um, they also send a CC when you hit this button in addition to the uh, clock, so that's weird. Anyway, um, bottom line is you have a built-in MIDI monitor and um, it's small. There's only, let's see, what's it, six or eight, seven lines there. So it's, I mean, it's not going to replace a giant editor on your PC. But if you're trying to, if you're struggling, trying to understand what, what's going where and you just need a quick little monitor, this is perfect for that. And um, which is a nice segue to the next couple tools which is how to find gear in your, in your studio. And, and uh, so watch the next videos about that too. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, little MIDI monitor. Oh, one other thing, I'm so sorry. If you hit shift and the black button, uh, it'll clear the screen. So you can just clear it. Yep, there you go. Sorry about missing that point. Um, hope you enjoyed this video and catch you on the next one. Thanks so much.